Hello everyone, I'm Jesse Kroll. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The Tommies faced a tall task Saturday in Arden Hills when they collide with fifth-ranked Bethel's explosive offense, which is averaging 42 points per game. The ninth-ranked Tommies will be without all Mac quarterback Matt O'Connell because of the ankle injury he suffered last game. In this meeting last year, St. Thomas overpowered Bethel 37 to nothing at O'Shaughnessy Stadium. I'm joined today by Coach Glenn Caruso, quarterback Alex Fenske, and offense alignment Euless Payne. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. You. Coach, speaking of the Gus Davis game, Matt mm -hmm. O'Connell injured his foot. Right. How will the team move on from this injury? Uh, I think the team has started to move on. I mean, it's always a sad situation when you lose any player, especially a guy who's a quarterback who's been playing very good football for you, who's a phenomenal person and a leader. So that's difficult, but what are the, the residual effects that you get out of a negative situation is you have other guys having opportunities to step up. So both Alex Fenske and Johnny Gould at their position the last two weeks have done a fantastic job. Both of them have played in both games and will continue that. But I think moreover, the team picks up the slack. Anytime there's a void in this program, one of the many things I love is that people find a way to pick up the slack for that, not just within that position group, but overall throughout all the phases of Game. Alex, after the injury, you stepped in. How comfortable were you going into the game? I felt really comfortable. You know, every week this team is priding itself on, you know, going the extra step and working hard. And in case that scenario comes, we're ready to step up. And that goes for every position, every phase of the team, whether it's offense, defense, or special teams. Coach, mm -hmm. Bethel's dual threat offense is averaging 487 yards a game this, uh, this season. What is the most important part of this offense, and what do you think is going to be the most dangerous? Well, the fact that they have balance is dangerous in and of itself. And certainly they have playmakers, phenomenal talent, and uh, they're certainly well coached. And, you know, I mean, we've said for years we enjoy playing this game very much because we believe that we play football the way it's intended to be played, and we believe that this team plays football the way it's intended to be played. They do so confidently, I think, and they have some really key seniors. Um, so their balance is good. Their quarterback uh, it certainly makes them go. But you look all over the field offensively, there's, there's uh, talent and depth at virtually every position. Euless, the Tommy's offense is averaging 448 yards per game, but was just held to 255 yards this past Saturday. What is the toughest part about Bethel's defense? Uh, I think the best part about Bethel's defense is that they're all good players. They're all good, disciplined, solid players. And with going up against players like that for us, it will bring the absolute best in every one of us on the offense just to give it all we've got. And now it's time for this week's fan question. <laughs> Coach, Keith, Tom Keith Thomasoni wants to know, what is the most memorable, memorable game you've coached in? That's a real tough one to try and answer in just one. I mean, there's a lot that just come to your mind. Certainly the 63-7 game versus St. John's, uh, that's a memorable one because of what it meant for the university, huge day. Uh, personally, my, my favorite regular season one was the game at Bethel two years ago. I mean, you know we love playing this team. And we love playing them because I think we play football the way it's intended to be done. And I know they play football as well the way it's intended to be done. And this is our favorite uh, single team to be able to go against just because of that, you know. And uh, that was a huge game two years ago at their place when we won, I think, 23 to 13. But I'd be lying if, if I didn't say of all the games, preseason, regular season, postseason, that the national championship last year wasn't the most memorable. It may not have been the most enjoyable because the outcome. But when you think about who our program is, what we're trying to achieve, and, and where we're going, uh, I think I'd be lying if I didn't say that that wasn't the most memorable one. Phenomenal week, and it wasn't just the game. Just the opportunity to be together was amazing. It's going to be another great game this Saturday, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com for the latest campus news. Thank you for tuning in. With Coach Glenn Caruso, Alex Fenske, and Euless Payne, I'm Jesse Kroll. We'll see you next time in The Locker Room.